why you all decided to put this through together without masks. Well, listen, I think there's been wild hypocrisy from the Biden administration when it comes to COVID policies. I, I do know Dr. Fauci has been all over the map on it. He said, yes, mask, no mask. He said, oh, I lied to the American people because they, they, they couldn't handle it. On the question of hypocrisy, you just asked, you people at the podium are speaking without masks. Just once, I'd like to see a reporter say to Joe Biden when he stands at the damn podium in the White House without a mask, Mr. President, why aren't you wearing a mask? Just once, I'd like you to see you say to Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, when she stands at the podium with no mask, Ms. Psaki, why don't you have a mask? The questions are only directed at one side, and i got to say the American people see the hypocrisy. How many of you all have eaten at a restaurant in the last six months? Can I just stop and say how strange the rules are right now? I want to understand how this virus works. So when you walk in, you got to put your mask on. Sadly, I've got two. You walk in, you got to put your mask on. You sit down, you take your mask off. See, apparently the virus is actually connected to elevation. No, no, remember, this is all about science. It's actually, it may not be elevation. I think it's, it, it's that there are hormones that are released in your thighs when you're sitting. So you can sit at the table and there's no virus being transmitted. But if you stand up, put the mask on! And listen, let's be clear, this is a dangerous virus. But these collectivist statists, okay, now they're saying, everybody can get immunized. We can have herd immunity everywhere, and we're going to wear masks for the next 300 years. And by the way, not just one mask. Two, three, four, you can't have too many masks. How much virtue do you want to signal? This is just dumb. You know, the U.S. Capitol has giant fences with razor wires and 5,000 National Guard standing out front. Because the Democrats are convinced that political theater helps them. Let's be clear, this is not about security at this point. This is about political theater. Half the country, the deplorables, are dangerous. And they're going to turn the capital into a military outpost in Baghdad just to have their compliant media echo that message. But do you know what terrifies every one of these statists, the truth. Liberty is powerful. Liberty is persuasive. Liberty is fun. You know, last week, we lost the great Rush Limbaugh. I was so blessed and so fortunate to call Rush a friend. And Rush understood the power. You know, before there was Hannity, before there was Tucker, before there was Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder, before there was Donald Trump, there was Rush Limbaugh. And before there was Section 230, there was something called the Fairness Doctrine which gave leftists in Washington the power to silence views they didn't like. We got rid of the Fairness Doctrine, and Rush Limbaugh started by going on one AM station, and then a second AM station, and then a third, and then a fourth, and then a fifth, and the voice of liberty spread like prairie fire. And let me tell you right now, in Los Angeles, there's some skater kid who's 19, who's told that it's hip and chic and cool to be a leftist socialist man, who's going to hear a message, wait a second, these guys don't want me to speak, think, have fun, do what I want to do? The message of liberty is profoundly subversive. The left believes in rigid conformity. We believe in diversity, free speech. You can say whatever you want, no matter how dumb it is. And by the way, in Washington, D.C., we test that proposition. 